in this video let me see the dynamic errors dynamic errors so dynamic error is also called as a measurement error it's a difference between the true value of the measuring quantity and the value indicated by the measurement system if no static error is assumed this is called dynamic error these error classified into systematic error uh, systematic error is classified into calibration error atmosphere error stylus pressure error avoidable errors and second can second type in dynamic error is a random error systematic or controllable errors the errors controllable in both magnitude and stresses this can also be determined and reduced the first error in systematic error is calibration error the actual length of standard such as scale will vary from the nominal value by small amount this will cause an error in measurement of constant magnitude for example calibration error if the vernier caliper there is some causes for not considering the vernier scale 0 and main scale 0 suppose there is a deviation of 1 mm whenever we are measuring there will be a deviation of 1 mm this is called calibration error systematic or controllable error and second error is atmospheric error Various in atmospheric condition, the temperature, pressure, and moisture at a place of the measurement from the from the top international agreed standards values 20, 20 degrees Celsius and 760 millimeter of HG pressure should be maintained while measuring the instrument. Instrument suppose we are not maintaining this pressure and temperature, there is a cause for some error. This is called atmospheric error. Stylus pressure error. Another common source of error is the stylus pressure error between the workpiece is pressed while measuring. This is called stylus pressure error. Though the pressure is involved is generally small, but this is sufficient enough to cause the appreciable deformation of both stylus and workpiece. Variation in force applied by the anvils of the micrometer on the work to be measured result in the difference in its reading. In this case, error is caused by the distortion of both micrometer frame and workpiece. For example, suppose we are measuring the measuring an object in micrometer, there is a pressure is applied on this workpiece. This pressure is called stylus pressure error. Avoidable errors. These errors occur due to parallax, non-alignment of workpiece, workpiece centers, improper location. These errors we can control and avoid. Instrumental loading error. Loading errors are result from the change in the measured measurement itself when being measured. Instrumental loading error is the difference between the value of measured measurement before and after measurement. This is called instrumental loading error. For example, a soft or ductile metric component is subjected to the deformation during the measurement due to the contact pressure of the instrument and causes a loading error. The effect of this error is unavoidable. Let we see the random errors. The random errors occurs randomly and the specific causes of such errors cannot be determined. The likely sources of this type of error are small variation in the position of setting standard and workpiece, slight displacement of levers, joints in the measuring instruments, friction in the measuring systems, operating error in reading scale these all are causes for the random errors thanks for watching subscribe and share with your friends